to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. If you want something, go get it. Period. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma in here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you're trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You gotta be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you gotta want it. You gotta go days without, listen to me, you gotta want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. I gotta breathe it, I gotta eat it, I gotta sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. So work hard and you can have whatever it is you want. Thank you, guys. Good, Brock. You're in the end zone.